give you the matches. What the hell's wrong with you? It's the heat. You don't know enough about it. For your information, I took a crash course in plumbing. I know enough that it's the pilot light that's out. Give me the matches. No, would you, you just listen to me? I found out that there are many violations about this building, the worst one being the heater. If you take a match to it, it'll blow the whole place sky high. Yeah, sure. Nice try. Give me the matches. Would you stop being so stubborn? I know what I'm talking about. I'm on to your tricks, Gabrielle. It's not going to work. This is not a trick. I'll take care of the heater. You go call your lawyer and tell him you've got to come up with a new idea for getting custody of Al, because claiming this place is unfit for a child ain't going to cut it. God, you said that Al wasn't here. Was that the truth? You know the truth of it. Would you in the shut face. up and tell me where Al is? If he's here, we've got to get him out of here immediately. No, no, no. Would no, you no, stop no. it? I have to get my son. Hey, wait. You're not making this story up. You're really you're not lying about these violations. No, I'm not lying about it. Now, what did you do with Al? That heater, they said uh, we were very lucky. I'm glad I got you to listen to me. Yeah, they said repairs have been done on it recently, that that leak must have just started. I hope they fix it. Gabrielle, do you mind telling me how you found out about the violations on this building? It uh, really doesn't matter. Uh, it matters to me. So tell me. I thought so. <clears throat> Your uh, fancy dancy legal eagle uh, did some checking on my building. Max, I know that you are trying to save money by cutting corners. Please do me a favor and don't take any more stupid risks. And get those gas people to check out the stove before they leave. Do you understand? Are you listening to me? Yes. Well, then why are you staring at me? I still don't believe that you rushed over here to save my life. Just because I hate you doesn't mean I want to stand back and watch you blow up. Sure would have been a quick way to end the custody battle. Oh, you are disgusting. I'm sorry. That was a low blow. You don't need to apologize because it really means absolutely nothing to me. I was wrong. I am sorry. You saved my life. I am grateful. I know thank you's not enough, and I know you probably don't believe it coming from me. But I don't know how else to show my appreciation. If you are sincere, there is one way. What's that? Give me custody of Al. Damn, what a setup. And I walked right into it. This was not a setup. It doesn't matter. I am not handing Al over to you as some gesture of thanks. I am Al's mother. He belongs with me. The judge gave me temporary custody. He stays with me. I'm not handing him back and forth like a football. I'm through with that game. Al's custody is not a game to me either. Then why didn't you compromise when I gave you the chance? I'll tell you why. Because you thought you were going to win. And when you didn't, you started the manipulating again. Well, here's the flash, Gabrielle. You lost. And I'm going into court, and I'm going to establish my legal rights as his father, and I'm raising him. And when the judge finds out that you want to raise my son in a death trap, he'll throw you out of court. What if you'd killed him this afternoon? I didn't. Yeah, because you just vaguely mentioned the heater, but I got over here in time to warn you. For God's sakes, Max, why do you want to put his life in danger here? I'm having the heater repaired. I'm having all the violations taken care of. There's only one reason you want to hang on to Al. It's to be the big winner, isn't it? So that you can tell all your bar buddies what a big man you are these days. Oh, if you really cared about our son, you would do what was best for him. What's best for Al is living with me. I know that. Our friends know that. And the judge is going to confirm that in court. Oh, to hell with you. I don't even know why I bothered coming down here. I should have let you blow yourself up. <laughs> 